Hey guys, HW here. Back in Sydney on a Friday. Day five of the seven part expose. Now what does Sydney look like on a Friday? Sydney gets taken over by the tourists. And the retirees. Retirees coming in to meet acquaintances for coffee, lunch, tourists flying in for a weekend in Sydney. Now strangely the Chinese tourists come in and just literally only do like three three or four days. Get around to all the main traps, you know, see the opera house, see the QVB, the Sydney Harbour few of the museums and things and then they usually race out to Katoomba to see the three sisters so they try to hit all of the spots all that they probably get over to Manly as well Bondi Beach so they do all the main attractions do a bit of shopping so we'll see them and for whatever reason they fly in on Thursdays and Fridays as well the office workers, they're all at home, aren't they, on a Friday? They're in their Ugg boots and their pyjamas. They might come in later um, for their own private dinners with their family. But yeah, as we get around today, you'll notice all we'll see is tourists and retirees. We won't see many other age groups or people represented. We may also see a few um, students around. Just had a coffee before with my buddy. He's been traipsing around the Hawaiian Islands for the past few weeks, or the past month, I should say. He was telling me a bit about his trip, and I'll pop in the coffee that I had with him later in the vid. But uh, as we look back up at the Queen Victoria building and down George Street, let's do the weather, weather observations. It's going to be 20 degrees Celsius in Sydney today. The wind's from the west at 28 kilometres an hour, with wind gusts of 32 kilometres an hour. So let's get moving. Ah, let's sneak through the ground level of Queen Victoria building. Capture some of the retirees and tourists having coffee this coffee joint looks all right to sit around on the bar and have your coffee. He's had to do a bit of sidestepping to get through there. Plenty of cakes still on display in the various cafes. No doubt the retirees will soon put a dent in them.
Look at that. Coco Black's got their own little coffee cart out the front. Yeah, the tourists are in large numbers today. Here I am in the Pitt Street Mall. Check out a few more tourists and uh, shoppers. Because that's what Friday's all about. Come on. San Francisco 49ers training cap on today. Starting to get excited. Preseason's about to kick off in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to be pretty busy watching my local footy team, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, try to make a run into the finals. And then I'm going to switch over and start watching my next favourite team, the San Francisco 49ers, start to pull their season together. As for the games, the Olympic Games in Paris, unfortunately, given the time restraints, it'll be on pretty late at night, I think, to watch it live, so I won't be watching. Sorry, France. I might, you know, flick on and watch a, a replay or, you know, a highlight if something really big happens, but other than that, I, I'm just not going to have time to watch it. And I'm still exhausted from watching the Tour de France for the past month. Anyway, let's get around Pitt Street Mall. See what's going on. So you'll be able to see yourself what a contrast it is between Friday and the rest of the week. Not many office workers around, just all tourists, mainly tourists, a few students and a few retirees. That's Friday in Sydney. Oh, I was just walking past the Strand. I know I was in here yesterday. Just wanted to come in and use their bathroom. Look at these little retro bathrooms they've got in the Strand. While we're here, just have a quick squeeze. Look at that. Plenty of tourists and retirees down there in the coffee shops of the Strand. Ah, uh, let's get down George Street and spy on a few more of the tourists. There's tourists over here fascinated with the bin chicken, with the ibis.
She loves it. All tourists getting their happy snaps. People lined up for Jimmy's falafel already. to avoid this uh, work site here oh, quick stroll through the rocks I just passed somebody wearing a Kansas City uh, cap I was tempted to tackle them on the street but it was only a girl so I thought that'd be a bit unfair Not many tourists on the big bus yet. Probably with the wind gusts and it's uh, with the wind gusts is a bit cool, so maybe they're a bit afraid of being up the top of the bus so far. Maybe later in the afternoon they'll get up there. Now that's got to be a tourist sucking down a Starbucks. Fortune of war. Sydney's oldest pub. As we get closer to the harbour, the wind starting to pick up a little sausage dog there oh and a cattle dog as well you get what I'm saying about Friday yet? Yeah? Are these pictures giving you a, a good idea? Let's get down the old street up here. She was super keen to get in the video, that one. Uh, let's get down Playfair Street. Spy on some more tourists. <coughs> Excuse me.
pretty quiet in this section just here where all the tourist shops are what's doing here I've never noticed this before is this a deliberate little fountain and waterfall they got yeah must be god the number of times that I've walked past this and never noticed it That grinder going off in the background is a delightful sound, isn't it? Oh, tea cosy. Might have to go in there one day and have some Devonshire tea. Let's see how much it is. Devonshire seventeen dollars per person and let's get a view of uh, Trump and Biden puppets over here Are they being knitted or crocheted look They'll have to swap those around, won't they? Now that there's a new Democrat candidate. Oh look, we're in the we're at the front side of the. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm going to have to look at my phone to remember what this building's called. I featured it before, you think I would, would know what it's called, but that building there, in that brutal architecture style, brutalism, it's the serious building. Can you believe that used to be public housing? <laughs> With views over the harbour? Uh, it's not anymore. State government sold it off. These kids over here just taking a tour of the rocks and they're all done up in little convict shirts with convict markings on the shirts which they used to do back in the day to keep a track of them. Go a quick skirt through uh, Circular Quay after we view the harbour. Oh, we're coming down the stairs at Campbell's Cove. There's that park hired across the wharf there. Water's glistening and quite flat in the westerly wind. Australian indigenous flag and the flag of Australia flying high on the harbour bridge. That's another thing about the harbour bridge that I've never mentioned before. It's the tallest steel span bridge in the world. The old harbour bridge. You get your head around that. Today, how about we get over the other side of this bloody fence? Some ferry called the Supply. I've never seen that ferry before. Oh, ferry Supply coming into Circular Quay. Opera house in the background. So yeah, look at that. Apart from the all the ferries chopping up the water, 
the water's quite flat with that westerly wind and look at the flag see flying with the westerly wind oh look just to the left there you probably can't see it you'll have to zoom in with your fingers on your phone or your computer screen there's some people taking the bridge climb right now And there goes the fresh water on its way to Manly. Again, probably to take hordes of tourists out there to tick Manly Beach off their uh, itinerary. Some of them bucket list probably as well. Now the free gets out of the way and we can see the Opera House. Oh, let's take a little trip along the overseas passenger terminal here. Seeing there's no cruise ships in town. Here's a mechanism they've got on rail tracks that moves up and down and puts the gangways, connects it to various ships depending on their size. Those little gangways can go up and down and and then the whole mechanism moves to the side. You'll never see HW on one of those. I'll pay not to go on a cruise. Not only do I not like the idea of being stuck on a a moving RSL club for days or weeks with the same people but I have a problem with seasickness so regardless of all the stabilizers they rave on about I can tell you now I still get sick so you won't catch me on them There goes one of the private ferry operators fantasy. Now I know what they look like. Because I've um, I'm gonna take a trip on one of those in the coming weeks. That girl's moving along the wharf with her big headphones on. Doing a bit of freestyling. Oh, here comes another private ferry by the looks of things. Few tur tur few tourists on the top deck of that one. Oh, walking on the lawn. Outside the Museum of Contemporary Art. So a few people enjoying nectars and lunch in there. Still showing damage from when they had uh, the Vivid Festival down here. Won't take long though. When it starts to warm up, this grass will grow like mad. These bin chickens down here trying to shake down this guy for some food. Let's see how tame it is. Nah, it moved out of the way. Any of your tourists enjoying ice creams and thick shakes before they get on the ferry down there? Wow. 
I think that's just about going to do it for this Friday the fifth day in my seven part series as we look up at the Four Seasons Hotel and alongside at the Shangri-La The L3 light rail makes its way into Circular Quay. So I take this opportunity to thank you for coming on another skirt around Sydney with me. That's the fifth day down, two to go. And then we'll be finished and Hopefully you've got a good idea what the different days of Sydney are going to look like. And you can plan your trip around that. See you in the next vid. The video is so far. Coming for a nectar at 77 King Street with my buddy. Just waiting for the nectars to arrive. This clown's been in Hawaii for the past couple of weeks, so I'll find out a bit more about how his holiday went over in the islands. Wait for the nectars to arrive. Oh, the flat white has arrived. Look at that, I've got a nice little swan pattern on mine. And my colleague has a piccolo. On the camera, his looks just as large as mine, but it's not. It's much smaller. Oh, look, I'll put my cup next to it so you can see. See, there is a difference. That's, a, that's actually quite a... It looks like a large pickle, like a larger than normal, your one. But it's not, I don't think. No, I think it's about the right size. 